Hey everybody, well, here it is, part 26 of building the R2-D2 from Fan Home. This is going to be the last and final part of this build. I can't believe it, I can't believe we finally got to the end. So here it is, this is stage 99 right here. And these components come in these boxes. And there is stage 100, the last one. I can't believe this. Ah, oh, two years and two months in the making. Now I was uh, trying to decide how to do this video. I didn't know if I should do two separate videos because I'm not sure how long it's going to take to put these two components together, but I think what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and put these together, and I know you're all going to want to see R2 work, so I want to uh, get them uh, operating, and then also I'm going to do a review. Uh, I'll talk about the good and bad about building this model, and just some things that might help you decide if you want to go through uh, the process of building this. So uh, let's go ahead and check out the magazines. Here's the magazine for issue 99. So just some last stuff they're talking about here. I'm going to zip through this really quick because there's going to be a lot to show in this video. So I'm just going to pretty much get to the main part right over here, and that is here. So this is the dome circuit board. So uh, this is the final circuit board that goes in R2's head, and then uh, it's got a little antenna on it, which is interesting. And then uh, we're going to mount it using the brackets that we had left over from the last part inside of his dome and that's pretty much all there is to this stage. Here are the parts that we get for stage 99. So this is the circuit board for R2-D2 and they say to be very careful with this and make sure that you you don't have any static electricity on you or anything else. So they're very uh, adamant about that. And then this has a little bit of an antenna right here which is pretty interesting. And then this is the main uh, adapter that's going to charge R2 whenever you need to charge them up. It's got one of these universal plugs that you plug in like this and depending on what country you get is which one you're going to get you push down and lock it in place and it's ready to go and then you use this button to de detach this if you need to change it all right so there we go with that the first thing we're going to do is take the circuit board and there's this cover on here so this just comes off apparently it's not screwed on as i can tell uh, let me see and they say, don't touch, there we go. And we're not going to use this piece. It's just there to protect. Wow, look at that. Look at that big, huge heat sink in there. So they tell you not to touch this. Now you're going to take these brackets. We had these brackets from the last uh, video or last stage. This one's going to go right here. So let me see if I can do this. Let's see. This is the way that it's going to go. Actually, this is a different looking circuit board here. Well, it looks like... Uh, they don't have this big huge heat sink on the instructions, but it looks like this one goes here. Let's see if I can do this without touching the board. All right, and we're going to use the 2.6 by, uh, or let's see, what is it? 2.5 by 6 millimeter flanged screw. There's no screws in this stage, so um, these are from the previous stage. Let me get that hole lined up there. Okay, we'll get that in there. And uh, that's the flanged screws, so you're going to have to look through your parts again to, uh, to do this. Okay, I'll adjust that a little bit better. Now the next one, this one here, it's going to go, you can see the hole there, you line it up with this, and this one's going to go at an angle. You're going to put it in like this. It's going to have this slight angle to it. So let me get the screw put in for that one. Okay, so now we got the head back here, and we're going to have it flipped upside down. This is where this circuit board is going to fit in here. So this might be a little bit tricky getting this in. So uh, let me see here. I got to get this. This these two holes got to go under here, and then these two holes for this bracket go under here. So I'm going to try to get this under here uh, while trying not to touch the circuit board. Let's see if I can get my fingers under here to hold this. Ooh, man, tricky, tricky. Right, those wires, let's see, are these wires going to be in the way? There's some underneath there. Tell you what, everything is packed in here tight. Uh, let's see, so now you see why this, you can see why this one was at an angle now. Um, let me see, boy, oof, oh, there we go. Okay, so now, let me line up these holes. I think we're going to use the 2.5 by 6 millimeter standard screws. Let me see if I can at least get this one in. I hope I got that hole matched up. Maybe, maybe not. 
Uh, let's try this again. Man, it's really awkward. Hmm, maybe I'll do this side instead. You can see those holes a little bit better if I get a hold of a screw here. Uh, right there. Every time I get them lined up, I accidentally move it. Man, this is rough. <laughs> okay, ooh, I had it. All right, let's see if I got it now. I can just get it in there. Ah, oh, man. Try to hold it this way. Okay. Hopefully I got it. Ah, uh, looks like I may have finally gotten it. Oh, yes. Woo, man, that was not easy. Oh, wow, that was rough. Okay, so there's three more. Uh, one here, here, and here. So let me get those all installed. Okay, so that is now in place. All right, so we have another tricky section to do here. So this ribbon cable right here is for the camera. And so it's going to go right in here. So this thing right here has got one of these little locks that lifts up like this. If I can get a grip on it. You have to get your fingernail. See how that flips up? It's kind of delicate, so you got to be careful. Now this ribbon cable goes underneath the frame here, and you're going to put this down on that ribbon cable connector. Um, boy, I'm not sure exactly how. I've never used one of these before, so let me see if I can get that in here. Okay, right there. So see how that fit in there like that? And then you push this down, and that locks it in place. Oh, good. So there, that's just give it a slight tug, and you can see that it's locked in there. All right, and then this cable is for the microphone, and that's going to go in this connector right here. So match up the pins. Looks like they're favoring this side. And we'll put that in here. Okay, like this. Let's see if I can... Oh, sorry, I'm shaking the camera. I've got to get in a better position here to push this down. There we go. Okay, Whew, man, tough stuff there. All right, so that completes stage 99. And here is the last and final magazine, stage 100. Can't believe it. There's no filler in this magazine. It's just all talking about getting him started. So uh, there is some mains adapter and uh, wiring. So there's a few more wires here, uh, some wire wraps. We finally get some hole fillers. And this is going to be the last part where we're going to put uh, the back panel on, connect his speaker, a few more wires. Wow, I can't believe this. I cannot believe we're at this stage. This is mind-blowing. There he is all together. And then at the end, uh, this is where you fill in all those holes, uh, which will be good. So, yep. And then this kind of just goes through how to control him. There's an app, which I already uh, downloaded. And I will show you all the cool things he can do. Let's see, did I skip a page here? That's powering him up and how to install those batteries and all that. We'll go through all of that. Okay, wow. Oh, gosh. I can't believe we're at the end of this. Here are the parts that we get for stage 100, the last and final stage. So we have some wires here. These both look kind of the same. Uh, another of these wire wraps. A shorter wire. I think this is an extension cable for the speaker. And this cool little thing, this is a little label that you put inside the uh, door that tells you what the buttons do. And then finally we're getting, uh, well these are the hole covers for the body, but these are for the power pack on R2's leg. Remember how long ago it was when we finished R2-D2's legs? They never gave us these plugs to plug those holes. I was wondering what the deal was. So as usual when it comes to these kits, nothing makes sense when they send you parts and you're getting this thing at the very end, which makes no sense, but at least we got them. All right, let's get started. Okay, so now we're looking back inside R2's body. This is the back side of him here. Uh, let me see if I can show you, kind of like that. Now, if you look inside there, there's that circuit board, the MCU, and you'll notice there's that white connector right here. Now, that is for this extension wire for the speakers. So you're gonna use the one, there's two different ends here. You got this kind, 
that looks like that, and you got this one that looks like this. You're going to use this one, so let me plug that into that hole right there. Okay, so by some miracle, I managed to get that in there because it's not an easy task to reach in there. It looks like we still got more to plug in, too. Oof. Now we're going to take these wires that were given to us in this stage, and we had a few of these labels left, so I cut them off of the sprues already here. And so I went ahead and put these on. So uh, let me see which ones are which. This one is CIN. You can see it right there. And that's the one that has uh, five of these holes. Let's see if I can focus in on that. Okay, so that's the five hole plug. And then the one that's got the six holes, which is this one, these have got the label H out. You can see it right there. And then we're going to take these and we're going to take the white end of one and the red on the other and then we're going to wrap these wires with one of these wire wraps. So let me get all that done. Okay, so I've got this all wrapped up now. Okay, so the next step is we're going to take the wire here that the red, this has got the, uh, the six holes right here. If I can focus in on this. There we go. And this is the one that's labeled H out. And then we're going to take the white one that's got the five holes and this one is labeled CIN. Okay, now they misprinted um, the instructions for this. It says this is a six prong, but it's not, it's five. For the longest time, I was trying to figure out why it wasn't making sense. So uh, I figured that it was just a misprint. So uh, this red connector is going to go down into that red connection point right there on that circuit board. And then this white one is going to go on this connection point right here. So let me get that put on. Okay, so we got them both plugged in there. So now I already put a, a zip tie on here. We're going to tie these wires down to the frame right here. Let's kind of get these in. Okay, and uh, let's make sure, try to make sure things aren't sticking up. Okay, let's see if I can get this on here. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, it's a little weird how this twisted here, but that's just kind of how mine went. All right, so make sure that's good and tight. Okay, and I think we'll move this over here so it's not sticking up. Then we'll just clip the excess off. All right, there we go. Now we'll just click this excess off of here. Like this. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, perfect. Now at this point, we have two sizes of these metal rods. So we're going to use this shorter one here. So let's go ahead and put that through here. It goes down into the uh, section down there. There's a wire. You don't want to clip that. It goes all the way to the top of the dome. Okay, so we're about ready to put the head onto the body. That's so cool. So I just was noticing now this little, uh, these little things sticking up right here, when you put the head on, they fit into these, these slots. That's what grips the head to turn it. And then the rod is simply there to just keep everything centered. Also, this bump that's on this part, that's what bumps into the bumpers here. And that's what uh, activates those sensors right there so that the head knows to only go so far. Okay, so I'm going to have a hard time showing this. I'm just going to show you what's going to happen. This wire right here, um, I'm going to have to turn R2-D2's head over so it's going to be hard to do all this but these wires are going to get fed into this uh, ring right here that we had put in earlier it's going to go inside here and then they're going to go through the hole right there and then they'll be fed down in here and then when I turn the head around I'm going to have to hang on to this so that it doesn't pop out while we're putting the head on and then I may have to turn the head a little bit to get those pieces to lock into those slots right there all right so wish me luck Okay, so I'm going to walk around the back side here. All right, so let me grab the head. And I'm going to make sure the front of the head goes towards the front of his body. And we're going to feed those wires through that ring, like I mentioned. Like this. Let's see if I can get them in here. And then we're going to feed them into all oh, those labels get in the way. All right, and then we're going to feed them into, man, this is just not easy. Uh, let me get them to turn this way. So i got to get them into that other hole in the frame right here. Okay, let me try to get that down there. Try not to tip the, uh, 
the dome because I don't want that metal rod to fall out. Okay, boy, this is a crazy setup here. Could use an extra pair of hands, that's for sure. If you have somebody that can help you with this step, that will be helpful for you. Okay, I keep getting this one wire stuck in here. Ooh. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take, well, I'm going to take the rod out so that I can tip this, but... So the uh, wire cable, or the wire wrap, is kind of getting stuck in here. Oh, okay, there we go. Wow. Okay, so I'll try to feed those through in a minute. Okay, so now when I turn this bubble, or, or the bubble, the, uh, the dome, i got to hang on to that rod so it doesn't fall out. And then we're going to put this on to... Ooh, man. Let's see if I can feed this in a little bit more. These are really just... It's a really... Oh, there we go. Man, that's a really awkward setup. Okay, now let's see if I can get this rod in here. Okay, so there's that. And, wait, I got his head turned the wrong way. Let me go this way. Okay, now, I'll fumble with that cable in just a minute. Let's try to get his head down, like this. And then we'll turn it, and hopefully we can get it to lock in. Ah, there we go. Ooh, look at that. Oh, man. Ooh. That was like performing surgery. I <laughs> can't believe I got that on there. Thank goodness I didn't drop anything. All right, so now that we got those wires through there, we're going to connect the remainder of these into that MCU board down there. So uh, let me see if I can zoom in. See that uh, white uh, connection point right there? That's where this wire is going to go. And then we got a red one right down here. See that? That's where this red one's going to go. So let me fight to get those in there. Okay, so miraculously, I managed to get those in there. That is not easy reaching down in there, let me tell you. Okay, so now, uh, the next part, we're going to put a zip tie to hold that cable on against this uh, support right here. Now, the, I don't have enough zip ties, so I had to dig into my own stash, so you may not have enough. Uh, but the tricky part here is to make sure that when you turn the head, there's enough slack there, but it also doesn't get in the way of the uh, lightsaber tube. Alright, so when I turn the head, I'll show you what I mean. So you'll see how this wire, you know, it doesn't get, it gets pulled a little bit, so you got to make sure there's enough slack, you know, so it's, it can kind of move in here. But see how the lightsaber tube is coming right over there? Now, let me see if I can get my hand out of the light. But see how that comes by? Now, that's the part a lot of people used to get stuck on wires, and it probably got stuck on that one. So you want to try to tie this probably closer to this corner over here as we turn the head and you can see it comes all the way around I hate turning this against the motor uh, but you'll see how far this this works its way all the way around so I gotta try to make sure I get just the right tension in there okay so I got it all tied up here so next we are going to work on this down here so we had this extension cable for the speaker that's gonna get laced around this support beam here get it around this and then it's got this two prong connector in here we're gonna here's the back panel of R2 here's the speaker wire so let me grab this we're gonna connect these two together so just make sure that you get the pins in the right direction so this they favor the lower side here there's the lower side there, so we're going to put it in like this. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Next, we're going to attach the back panel. So, we'll just kind of tuck this speaker wire in this side here. See if I can get over here. And then we're going to slide this back panel on here. Make sure that wire is out of the way and line this up okay boys kind of a bit of a tricky spot here and uh, let me see if I can lower it down a bit oh there we go oh nice oh there we go yes beautiful beautiful 
Okay, so now we are ready to screw the body panels into the frame. So you just got to make sure these holes match up with the frames on the inside here. So we're going to use the 2.5 by 6 millimeter screws. We have a whole bag of these near the end, so at least you know which ones they are. All right, so that just goes in like this. And then we got uh, two on this top section, two down here, and then four more on the other side in the same spot. Okay, so now we have the hole plugs. Now they kind of mentioned that you might want to wait to put the hole plugs on the sides that we just got done doing until we test them and everything works in case you have to get back in there. But we do have these curved ones here. Now I don't know why they didn't send these when we finished the leg. And in fact, I thought maybe they forgot to send me these plugs because uh, the ones for this, uh, the other side over there, they came in with that uh, particular set apart so i don't know why uh they waited till now i mean here it is the last stage and we're finally able to plug these holes up so you just got to line these up because they're kind of curved they're shaped like the hole and then you just kind of push them in there all right so there's one there and there's three more so let me get those put on now on this front panel here we're going to open this up and they give you this sticker and this sticker tells you what each of those buttons do so just as kind of a label to uh, remind you, we'll just peel that off. And it goes inside this door right here. So we'll put it in here and uh, stick it on. Well, I'll try to put it on more straight. Well, I can't get it peeled off, so it's just gonna have to be slightly crooked. Not like anybody's gonna see it anyway. So that's very cool. So they tell you what each of these buttons do right here. Okay, so I had him almost put together, and I noticed that I had this big gap between his head and his body. Now, I've been fiddling around with this for an hour now, and I actually managed to get it down to this, and this looks pretty good. Before that, we well, can see it's a little bit higher over here, but before that, it was like this, this much. Like you can see all the way through there, and you can even see some of the wires, and I couldn't figure it out. I've been messing around with this for an hour. I was looking at other people's R2s. Some of them don't have a gap at all and some have a worse gap than mine. Looking back on the inside, it's almost like this shelf that holds the motor sits a little bit too high. Because when I was pushing down on it, that's, you know, that's where everything sits is on the motor right here. I checked that, uh, that strut that's right in here. I checked the, the uh, bar that goes up inside of his head, everything, and it fits exactly where it's supposed to go. So I don't know why there was that big of a gap on there. So I don't know, I can't figure out what the problem is. But it's interesting that other people have the same problem and some people don't. Okay, so I've messed with that long enough. So now we're moving on to the batteries. So we're gonna now put all the batteries in. Now I already opened up this compartment with that little screwdriver and I already unscrewed the compartment themselves. So we can take this lid off right here. And then we're gonna finally be able to uh, put these batteries in. So they're already charged and everything. These are those weird batteries. Now you'll notice they kind of go in two, two, and two. So the negative side goes where the spring is. So let me see if I can get these in here. Okay, there's that one. So two go in this direction. And then we put two in this direction where the, the button top goes the other direction like that. Usually they zigzag them. All right, so let me go ahead and get the other two in and then we'll put this back inside R2's body. Also, before installing those batteries, make sure you turn the main power switch off. That one down there. Make sure that that's in the off position before you put the batteries in. And finally, we get to put R2's lightsaber in. So let's open up this door. It's a little hard to grip. And then the lightsaber itself goes in a certain way because that part right there sticks out so let me see if I can get it in here oh, there we go that just goes right down inside there and that is ready to go okay so now we're ready to do the power protection procedure so uh, what this is is you're gonna plug the the uh, power cord into the spot down here where you would normally charge him so he's still turned off the main switch is off you're going to plug this in for two seconds and then you're going to unplug it and then uh, that it starts the what did they call it it's the uh protection procedure for the it activates the batteries so let me see where this is we'll plug it in for two seconds 
one one thousand two one thousand and then you pull that out okay and then that's all you got to do so let's get him turned on and see if he works okay now for the moment of truth is he going to work oh my gosh I hope he does so uh, I'm gonna turn on his main power switch and I'm gonna press this button which turns him on and then he's gonna lunge forward a little bit and his head should turn back and forth and then he'll make some sounds and that means he's ready to go so let's give this a shot Main power on, we'll push this on. Oh, there he goes. Hoo -hoo. Oh, that's a nice smooth motor right there. Look how good his head moves. Wow, look at that nice red light. Ooh. Ah. Oh. oh, there he is. Yes! Oh my gosh, success, success. I can't believe it. Okay, so let's try out these two buttons. Uh, a couple of these are for pairing him with the uh, Wi-Fi and all this other stuff. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do any kind of Wi-Fi. I'm just going to do direct mode where you control him with the app. So let's make sure everything works. Now, uh, let me see. I can't quite read that front page there. Let me see. Uh, let's see. The first button, uh, that is... Oh, well, the first one here, this is patrol mode, okay? So that's... Once you push that, he'll start wandering around on his own, and then he'll use his sensors not to bump into anything. So let's not do that one quite yet. But the button number two, that is the little arms up here. So let's try that. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, and then the uh, third... Ah, oh, look at that. So I think he also picks up your voice and stuff. Oh, man, his voice sounds so cool. Okay, so button three is the lightsaber, so let's see if that works. Let me see if I can get the light over here. Sorry, this is so uh, kind of amateurish. <laughs> All right, let me do the third one. Ah, oh, that got stuck. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that was weird. So sometimes that lid, I think, it gets stuck a little bit. There's his lightsaber. Let's make it go down. Okay, yeah, that's very good. Oh, it kind of gets stuck in there, doesn't it? All right, I need to see if I can fix that. Okay, so now let's try it again with the lightsaber here. I've seen other people having problems with the door getting stuck. There we go. You know, they gave us that new hinge piece in there, because remember at the very beginning of the build, they gave us a hinge, and I held onto it all these, like, months or a year or whatever, and then they gave us a whole different one, and I think that was probably to try to uh, fix that problem, but it didn't, so I was still having the problem. So what happened is on the very edge right here, it was catching on this edge here. So I just, uh, I put tape, blue tape, across this hole so that we didn't have uh, iron filings going down inside there. You, you don't want that to happen. And I just took a really small file and filed this down a little bit here and also on this corner. And then that way, it's not getting stuck. So now when you got it on here, if I can get the light on here just right, you can see how there is a much better gap in there. So you may have to do that to get your uh, lightsaber lid to open because I know a lot of people have had a problem with that. And thankfully, <laughs> that fixed it. That is so cool. I, I love that that feature is in there. You can take this out. Luke's lights lightsaber, just like in uh, Return of the Jedi. Oh, that's right. It's in the up position. <laughs> there we go. All right. Very cool. Okay, so now let's connect him to the app. So once you download this, you're going to hit this... <laughs> okay, you're going to hit this top uh, circle thing here. Okay, now it says, um, press the switch connection mode button 5 on R2-D2 to change Wi-Fi mode. It will be yellow, but yellow light is on. Okay, so if you want direct mode, it's yellow. And if you want, uh, what is it called? Local Wi-Fi mode, that will be green. I'll show you what light I'm talking about. So it's the light back here. So it's yellow, so we're already in direct mode, so that's just what we need. Okay, so I think we have to push the fifth button here. I have to wait till it gets done there. And that's Wi-Fi settings. I think that's supposed to turn purple. There it goes. Okay, now back to this. Wi-Fi settings. Now we gotta try to find the one that says R2D2. Now it looks like looks like it's still searching here. Um where, there it is, R2-D2 router. So let's hit that. 
Okay, now the password is eight zeros, so we have to do that. It tells you that in the manual. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and then we connect. All right, ooh, all right, now he's doing some moving around over there. RGD2 router. All right. Internet may not be available. Keep Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so let's hit that. Okay, now it says to um, quit the Wi-Fi settings and go back to the droid control page. Okay, so let's get back out of here. And I guess we connect. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, finally. Okay, I got to tell you, I, I struggled with this for a little bit. Yeah, okay, we finally got that going. Okay, so now this is what we got. So this is direct mode. We see that his battery level is 85%, so they do show you that. That's really cool. And, he, and that it shows that he's in direct mode right there. And the reason I'm having a hard time focusing is because I don't have this focused. Okay, sorry about that. I, when I have the lens zoomed out, it's harder to see. Okay, so now let's try some of this stuff. Uh, we have manual control. And now here we have all these cool things. There's like head rotation, uh, directional, and what else? Turn left, turn right, turn around, go forward, shake head, walk in circle, dance. Oh, I'll have to try that out. Lightsaber, play hologram. Oh, we got to check that out too. I haven't even seen if that works yet. Talk, arms, short LCD, long LCD. Okay, so those are cool. So now, um, here, let me, let me see if I can get the hang of steering him around. Okay, so let's do some forward action. His motors are really nice. Oh, and I love his little cheers. Okay, let me turn him back around this way. Oh, I love his sounds. His sounds are great. There's forward. You can make him move backwards. You can make him move forwards. You can have him turned to his left or his right. Like that. And now the other thing that's cool, now you notice the lights on the front right here, they're not on. So that's what the short LCD is. Now let me turn that on. Look at that. Can we see that? Let me see if I can get him close to the camera here. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, you know what? I bet I can turn his head instead of turning his whole body. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Very good. I haven't even tried that yet. Oh, so you just keep pushing it. Look at that. That is so awesome. Oh, God, I love that. That is awesome. Okay, let me go to the other side. There's the long LCD, so let's turn that on. And there they are. Oh, man, that is so cool. That was a little uh, LCD screens that they had in there, which is amazing. Wow. Wow, this is so impressive. Okay, let me uh, back him up just a little. Okay, now let's try some other things here. So his head will only go as, you know, remember the blockers that were in there? That keeps his head from going too far. But his head turns actually... Quite a bit. It doesn't go as far to the left as it does to the right, which is interesting. Okay, now let's see. Uh, let's go to... So you have these directional buttons right here. You can just hit it once, and he'll turn left. And then you hit turn right. And then you, you can just use these, too. Like, to turn his head, you just press and hold this. See how it goes that way? And then this way? And then you can just steer him around with that. So what else do we got here? That's go forward. Uh, I don't know how far he's going to go. Let's see what shake head does. Oh boy, it goes all the way around. Oh, it's kind of rough, isn't it? All right, let me bring his head forward again. <laughs> okay, now let's see what else do we have here. Uh, walk in circle. Okay, well, let me, I'm not sure how far of a circle he takes. And I only have a limited space here. So let's not do that one just yet. Oh, well, I want to see what he does with dancing. All right, well, let me move him back. All right, let's try dancing. Hopefully he doesn't fall off anywhere. Okay, so let's hit that. Ah, cool. His head's a little rough, isn't it? <laughs> now, I don't know if he keeps doing this until you push the button again. Okay, he stops after a little bit. Wow, that's... His head is... Uh, I gotta say, his head bumps pretty hard. Um, see, now he's doing that on his own. I didn't even... 
Wow, that's pretty wild. I, I would say I'm not really too fond about the way his head turns, where it hits, it hits that thing really hard. Okay, let me move him forward just a little bit. See, now I didn't... He does wild things, which is typical. Remember how he's kind of rebellious. Okay, so there is a button here for a lightsaber, so let's hit that. And there it is. Let me turn it this way so we can see it sticking out there. And then you can hit the button again. And I'm glad I fixed that lid. That's very cool. Okay, now i got to try out that hologram, but before I do that, there's a talk button. And you can have him do... Now, I don't know how many voice tracks he's got. Oh, I see. Look at this. They give you a whole menu. Putting it together, sing song, response. Wow, look at all the... Ooh, there's a lot. Okay, well, let's try these, shall we? Uh, let's hear... Let's try putting it together. Oh, that was awesome. It even had kind of an echo sound. Here's sing song, response. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Abrupt thrill. Oh, that was a short one. Okay, al alarm thrill. Okay, very cool. Uh, building freak out. <laughs> yeah, we heard that one before. Uh, Kurt reply. Oh, man, so cool. Danger, danger. Mm. That is awesome. Happiness confirmation. <laughs> happy, happy three chirp. Oh, okay. Lonely hello. Ah, lonely singing. No, oh, that's cool. That is cool. Okay, I'm not sure why he turned his head. Let me, uh, let me go back. Let me turn his head back. Okay, let me go back to talk again. I guess, like, it says he does his own stuff, so, uh, and that's true. Okay, let's try nagging wine. <laughs> okay, short raspberry. <laughs> that's great, I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Startled tone. Startled whoop. Oh, that was cool. Did you hear how echoey that was? Here's a stifled laugh. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> Uncertain two-tone. Let me see. There it goes. Oh, that's cool. Unconvinced grumbling. <laughs> Upset two-tone. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of those. That is really cool. Okay, I love that. That was fantastic. Okay, so we also have arms. Those are the arms on the front. I like this because you don't have to push the buttons on, a, on his body, so you can completely uh, remote control him a little bit. Let me move him back. And let's see, patrol, of course, is when he'll just go on patrol, and then you, his, you'll rely on his sensors not to bump into anything. And then re if you'll recall, he's also got the bumper down here at the bottom of his foot to keep him from bumping into stuff. Okay, let's try that hologram because i got to see if it works. Okay, so on the app we have two different holograms, so let's go ahead and hit that. And we have hologram one and two, so one is Princess Leia and one is Luke. Now hopefully I can focus on this. I'm going to try to have him projected on this sheet. So here's the first one. Oh, that is cool. And did you see how it's pixelated like it was in the movie? Kenobi, you're my only help. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, here's the Luke Skywalker one. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you a gift. These two droids, both are hardworking and will serve you well. The, yeah, you can tell the mouth is off a little bit, but it's cool. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you a gift. These two droids, both are hardworking and will serve you well. Oh, that's awesome. God, I love that. That is awesome. Okay, now he does have a video mode on here, and so it turns your phone or your tablet into the camera. So the camera that's up here, so, but you can still turn his head like this. So you can control him, and then you can also like drive him around. You can see that he's seeing 
So there I am right there. So all of you that's been wanting a, a face reveal, there I am. Hey, everybody. <laughs> okay, so um, it's really neat. So the camera, I mean, it's not like real high quality. It's actually not bad. I mean, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's high def or anything like that. It's probably the same camera they used on it um, seven years ago when this kit first came out. But yeah, it's not too bad. So you can kind of have him wander around and you can see what he sees. It's very cool. All right, so yeah, that worked out really good. So at least we know the camera works. Well, this is just really cool. I, I can't believe that I finally got this built. This has been, this has been a, this has been a two year, two month project. It's taken me two years and two months which is uh, what it takes to build him. And it's one of these part work kits. I'm trying to decide, I think I might do a, um, a separate video, like a, a complete review on R2 here. Because I want to talk about the good and the bad about what it was like putting this together. I mean, he looks incredible and I absolutely love him. But, uh, you know, I'm just not a fan of these part work kits. It's just, I don't know, it, building a model that takes you two and a half years sometimes or two years and two months to put together is just not really something that I like to do. But I will say that this R2 is probably the best R2 that I own. Uh, I mean, short of having a full size, I love when he does stuff random like that. That's really cool. Uh, short of having a full size, fully functional R2, see, look at he's doing his own thing there. I'm not even controlling that. That's neat. That's just something he did on his own. That's awesome. Ah, I like him. He's so cool. All right, yeah, I think I'll do a review on this. Um, so look out for that video next. But at least we finally did it. So this is it. This is the last video of the R2-D2 build. I'm sorry that it's long. Um, but I knew that I was going to have to take some time to demonstrate all the cool stuff that he does. But all right, so maybe I'll just do a quick uh, review video and just kind of, like I said, talk about the good and the bad. But here he is. He's fully functional now. Boy, what a long time coming. This took a long time to build. He gets stuck on that little thing down here. Let's see if I can put those together. But yeah, he works really good. I, I wouldn't recommend using him outside. I mean, I think, <laughs> I think a lot of people would be tempted to use him outside, but I don't think that that's probably a good idea because you, know, you don't want to get uh, dirt and stuff inside of his, his wheels and motors down there. Oh, and another thing I should mention is I was having a problem where his head was just turning. Every time I moved him forward, his head would start slamming back and forth. It would just turn. And I don't know what was causing it, but I turned him off and then I reconnected him. And he's not doing that anymore. See when he moves forward? So that's really cool. Ah, this is so cool. All right. Well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this series. It was a 26-part series. I've made a playlist for this. So if you want to start from the very beginning and uh, watch the whole thing you're more than welcome to do that i might watch the whole series again just to kind of see what it was like two two years and two months ago starting this whole thing <laughs> he's awesome i just love this i just love this rt you guys know how much i love rtd2 all right well that's it i i almost feel kind of sad uh, that this is the end um you know this has been such a cool thing i've really enjoyed having all of you watch this series and i hope you've enjoyed it and if you're thinking about uh, getting this, uh, oh, just know that it's not cheap. He's about $1,600 after all is said and done. But at least you're making payments monthly, so it kind of cushions the blow a little bit. But I'll talk a little bit about that in the review as well. But that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. So have a good one.